Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. So today's video is about perfume declutter. I have eight perfume here that I've decluttered. Some of them already um, sold, some of them haven't. I know that this is more like a cumulative declutter that happens, but every time I put one in, I feel like my cabinet is so crowded, so I feel the necessity of getting rid of some. So because of that, um, we're here. Okay, so the first one that I got rid of is my backup bottle of Alien Essence Absolute. This was my signature scent. I love this one so much. This is a beautiful, darker alien with myrrh incense. It has all of those sexy, sexy, sexy scent. I just love this one so much, but I had 60 mil and I have so many perfume and I keep testing my perfume and I thought that I could keep the backup bottle but it's just that it's too much after a while this is getting out of hand so because of that I got rid of my backup bottle of Alien Essence Absolute the next one that I declutter is Swiss Arabian Casablanca you know I love this scent so much and I recommended it um, to every one of you and I have been talking about this perfume for a long long time and I use a lot I have a hundred mil and I think when I got rid of it it was like 40 or even 30 mil left I think I use um, or decanted 60 to 70 mil of those um, I know that I've decanted some but I use a lot of that one it's just that during summer like recently when i went to my friend's um house and okay so this is the thing that i like to do but i'm pretty sure some of you does this some of you don't i don't know every time i go to a friend's place i would bring a perfume that she never wears um and i'll just spray like a good five sprays on her and then you know, I want to hear her opinion of it. So that day I bought Swiss Arabian Casablanca just because I feel like wearing those fruity scent. And it's a summer day. It's really hot outside. It's 100 degree. And I sprayed one, two, three, four, and five on her. As soon as it hits her body, I could smell the oud. I don't know what it is. There's oud in that apple juice scent it's as if that apple fruity beautiful perfume that i love is tainted it smells like there's oud in it so after that it kind of changes my perception of swiss arabian casablanca and i thought i have too many perfume if there is the slightest thing that bothers me it has to go so since that day, Casablanca left my collection and it didn't take long for it to sell. I figure if I miss it, I could always repurchase it. But for now, I just don't think that I will be reaching for or wanting to smell like caramel green apple oot scent, if you know what I mean. Okay, so I declutter that. Um, the third one that I bought and immediately decluttered is Memo Paris Tamar Window. It's not a blind buy per se. I actually went to the mall before COVID started and I sniffed the whole Neiman Marcus or Saks Fifth Avenue, I don't recall. And Memo Paris Tamar Window is one of the scent that appealing to me. And it has been in my wish list since then. And as soon as I saw Erin Sullivan Beauty sold hers, by the way, hi Erin. If you haven't been subscribed to her, she's the cruelty-free perfume channel that I adore, that I watch a lot. Um, so if you haven't been subscribed to her, please do so. Um, yeah. So Erin is selling her Memo Paris Tamarindo. And I was like, okay, let me try it. If I don't like it, I could just sell it. As soon as I put it on, I smell this beautiful coconutty pineapple-y so it's a little bit sour but it has this patchouli 
Okay, so first of all, Tamarindo smells like Coco Chanel Mademoiselle, but it's more beast mode. So the patchouli there is even more beast mode. I don't know. I just decided that I no longer want to wear Coco Chanel Mademoiselle as much, even though it's so precious to me that it's like one of the first perfume that I bought that is so valuable to me that I can't seem to declutter, but I don't reach for it. And if I want to wear something of that DNA, I prefer to wear my Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. And I just don't like the sourness. I don't like the patchouli. And it also has this high class powdery vibe. And you know, I don't like powder at all. I do like Poudre, Narciso Poudre, because I think that's like a musky powder. I don't like a like talcum powder. So Tamarindo is not really talcum powder, but it's leaning more towards talcum powder, like Dior Addict type of powder, more than Narciso Poudre type of powder, if you know what I mean. So yeah, if you like powder, and if you like patchouli, if you love Coco Chanel Mademoiselle, go for Memo Paris Tamarindo. Unfortunately, I, do, I just don't like it because of the patchouli there. It's a little bit too aggressive for me, okay? So the fourth one that I decluttered is Jean Paul Gaultier Essence de Parfum. I love that perfume actually. Um, it was one of the perfume that after one of my subscribers sent me Deacon, I'm like, I have to have it and I bought it. But um, recently, when I put it on, the aldehyde comes off so strong. I'm very picky, guys. I don't like aldehydes. I don't like soapy scent. And that perfume is beautiful. I have a little bit of a love and hate relationship with grape orange blossom. And that perfume has grape orange blossom. I prefer the more like a fruity, airy sweet orange blossom that smells like orange instead of like a grapey orange blossom so that one's a grapey orange blossom with a lot of vanilla and a lot of whipped cream and aldehyde so the the thing that bothers me is the aldehyde after i put it on the siat is beautiful the siat is so good but it's also beast mode and projection as well so that one's like a siat and projection beast mode and whenever I smell it close to my wrist, which I know that I shouldn't have done that, but I just can't help it. I enjoy sniffing from the wrist. And if it's too beast mode, it, it's like a turn off for me. Um, so yeah, that one, when I smell it from the source, the aldehyde, it's so strong. I don't really like it, but I love the sillage. I don't like when I sniff it from the source just because of the high dose of aldehyde in it. Because of that, it left my perfume collection. All right, so the next one, I don't think this one's sold yet. Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Intense. I know that that perfume is probably one of the popular like designer must-have summer scent, which I agree completely that it's a must-have. It's a beautiful green apple lemonade scent. I love that part, but the dry down, it's, it has that woodiness and muskiness, a little bit metallic -y vibe, a typical designer woody musky dry down of a citrus scent. I just don't like it. I don't gravitate towards using it, and because of that, it left my perfume collection. All right, so the next one is Reminiscence Drage. I love the Gimoff, and as soon as the Drage comes out and Heliotropes become available, I got all three of them. But Drage is my least favorite. Has the same DNA or a similar vibe, like as a sweet marshmallowy orange blossom. But it has this chemically vibe that I don't really enjoy. So out of all the three, actually Drage is my least favorite because of that. It is leaving my perfume collection. Yeah, it has a syntheticness. So when I Google it up, it says that it has almond blossom. I don't like almond blossom. I used to have Guerlain, my insulins, that's already discontinued. It has this like oily synthetic vibe that comes from almond blossom. So 
from now on, whenever I see almond blossom, I think it's best for me to stay away because almond blossom came across very synthetic to my nose. I just don't like how it come across. Uh, next is Dusita Moonlight in Chiang Mai. I got that from Erin. I do enjoy this one, but um, it's a little bit masculine. The three things that I smell the most are yuzu, Tikput and Baccarat 540. I'm not a big Baccarat 540 fan to start with. Um, the use is beautiful though, and the Tikput gives it a bit of masculine vibe to that Baccarat. So in a way, it reminds me of like how Instant Crush appears to me, very masculine. It doesn't smell like Instant Crush. It doesn't smell like Baccarat 540, but it has that chemical that makes me think it's Baccarat 540. Instant Crust, it's like a lot of men cologne vibe. There's something else. But this one uses teak wood. And the teak wood is so masculine. So yeah, I prefer a more feminine unisex leaning scent or a unisex scent that's leaning feminine. I don't want to smell like masculine, you know. And last but not least, uh, the perfume that it decluttered is Zara Rich Warm Addictive. I love this perfume actually. It's just really, really good. For the price, it's a honey tobacco with coconut and vanilla, I love it. But I just don't gravitate towards using it and I have too much and I simply have to make room. Even after this video, I still have a lot. So maybe I should take a look at it again and then declutter more. All right, guys, remember you could buy, but make sure you purchase responsibly. If it doesn't work out for you, go ahead and declutter it. There's nothing wrong with it because I believe in the dopamine rush from purchasing perfume, but I also believe in suppress the cortisol when it overwhelms you, get rid of it. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.